Hey, this is Trey. Today we're going to learn how to use the custom LUT function in Film Workshop. Alright, so to get started, as always, open the ENB menu with the end key. And uh, I'm going to bring up the console here so that I have mouse control. Let's move this out of the way. Um, the first thing we want to do is just make a look really quickly. Um, so let's uh, actually move this back here. And let's just pick a film stock combo. Let's go with Tetrachrome and Fujifilm Custom Print. Let's set that to three. Let's set this to 42. Okay, there we go. That's nice color here. And let's give it a little more color, a little more saturation. And let's change the color temperature a little more blue. Just a touch and a little bit of green in the tint. And then maybe we need to bump exposure a little, so let's push that up. Not too much, we don't want to blow the highlights out. Okay, that's uh, that's not looking too bad. It's, uh, it might be a little too green, so let me back off on that tent. And just leaving it about like that is kind of a better, a better look. Maybe the, maybe I cooled the image off too much. Let's, um, yeah, there we go. That's better, and that looks really nice. Good color tone here. Um, now let's go down here and uh, let's do a little bit of color grading. So I kind of want to push uh, just a very subtle purple tone into the shadows. So I'm going to start by pushing the saturation up, and then we're going to change the hue from this bluish color to sort of a purple color and let's uh, pull back on saturation and we just push until it feels right okay that's nice and then to compensate let's push a little bit of red into well maybe not red maybe yellow no, actually green's not bad just tiniest amount of green and then we push purple again and green and in the midtones, we're going to compensate for this green by pushing the opposite color green, which is like a pinkish color. Basically, the point here is not to make the middle look pink. It's to remove the green out of the middle section. So as I push it up here, I want to get rid of it in the middle. And as you can see, that did the job nicely. So just turn it on, color grading on and off. We have our interesting looking green highlights with our mostly clean and unaffected midtones. In fact, I may have cleaned the highlights up a little too much. Let's push some of that. It's hard finding the right balance. There we go. So now we've got this interesting look here. Okay, so what happens when you want to save this and you want to maybe share it or, or something else? Uh, here's how you accomplish that. So in the ENB, you're gonna scroll all the way down after you got your look finished. Let's close this up. Scroll all the way down and right here where it says enable LUT overlay, you're gonna check that on. You need to make sure that the menu is turned off um, if you have anything going above this. Uh, the easiest way to make sure that you do that is open up the, the console and then type TM, which stands for toggle menu, and it'll get rid of that. Just don't forget to type TM and enter again to bring it back when you're finished. But here's our LUT overlay and everything that's uh, that we've done here color-wise is going to be saved in that LUT. It's going to be baked in. So now you just press the print screen key on your keyboard and it should save it to the root Fallout 4 directory. So I've opened up the root Fallout 4 folder. We're going to scroll down a bit. Um, your folder definitely won't look this messy. We're going to scroll down a bit and right here, this last ENB bitmap file, that's the screenshot that we want. 
So I'm going to double click on that. Uh, in my case, it opens in Photoshop. All you need to do is crop the image to just have these little blocks up here. Um, in Photoshop, the hotkey to open that up would be Control Alt C. But whatever program you use, the end result is that you're cropping from this corner a size of 1024 width by 32 height. And that gives you this. So once you've got this cropped out, you're going to save the image in the Fallout 4 game directory in ENB series, custom, user, and make sure you're saving as a PNG, and overwrite this LUT.png file right here. Yes, let's replace it. Next step, go back to your Fallout 4 root directory, go to ENB series, and ENB settings. And you're going to change custom mode to two, user LUT mode, and let's save. So now, when I open the game back up, all I need to do is click apply changes, go back over here, and you notice we've, we've removed a lot of stuff from the EMB. All that we have now is our lens, sharpening, and letterbox controls, because that's literally all that we need now. We have the entire look that we just color graded all baked into a LUT. And the performance is, uh, is going to improve as well because we're not doing so many uh, shader operations. So this is a really good way to improve performance a little bit after you've gotten the look that you want. It's also a really great way to share uh, looks that you've created with your friends. Uh, and it's also going to be uh, the method that you need to use to submit a LUT to me for the upcoming monthly community packs that I'm planning on uh, releasing for Film Workshop. Uh, I will be selecting some of the best ones from the community on a per month basis, and I will put them into uh, packs, pretty much uh, just like the custom truth pack that's coming out from uh, the user truth. Uh, there will be community packs from multiple different users with the best looks. So um, hopefully this video has been helpful, and I uh, hope you have a lot of fun with Film Workshop. Have a great day. Bye.